Hey, I'm Chris. Today, I'm going to be tasting some Japanese cereals uh, that I got at my local Japanese market. We've got a lovely strawberry cornflake that I can't wait to try. And this is a Japanese baguette cereal. So curious to try both of these for you and uh, stick around while I check them out. All right, the first Japanese cereal I'm gonna try today is a premium cornflakes strawberry. It's from, um, I think this is pronounced Nishoku's and uh, really small in here it says gentleman brand. So, and then it repeats around the back. If you're used to the US packaging for cereal, this is crazy how much, how uh, sort of, I don't know, completely empty this box is. Look at the back, it's kind of beautiful. I would love it if US cereals would do this. Open the box, it's like a rip tie. It's interesting, um, but it does have a little clasp up here. So you can still do this. Open these up, do our first sniff. Hmm. Not overpowered by uh, a strawberry smell. Um, it's more just a, a pure cornflake smell. So let me drop some of these in the bowl here. Where? I thought actually by looking at the packaging, it could be mistaken, but I thought there were actually going to be freeze dried um, strawberries in here. But actually, it looks like there's just like a very light like strawberry glaze or something on this. It might have little bits of strawberry in there, but you can kind of see um, some sugar kind of sparkling from the glaze on here. So maybe this is gonna be a little sweet. I didn't think it would be. I thought it'd be more like um, cornflakes that have the freeze dried bits. And oh, I'm gonna try no milk. So we're gonna try them dry first. So, mm. oh man, these are nice and sweet. And wow, they're really like, it's a, it's like if you got cereal that, um, that had like freeze dried strawberries kind of, like I was saying before, like kind of in a glaze put on. These are really incredibly tasty. You know how you get strawberry flavored things in America and sometimes they don't retain that tanginess or that little X factor of strawberry? These really do. Oh man, these are delicious. Okay, it's almost like the consistency is a little bit like frosted flakes. So this is kind of like if you would get like a strawberry frosted flakes, Japanese style. Very good, very good. I'm very excited about these. Okay, so I'm gonna try them with a little milk. Um, all right. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like these would make ridiculously good cereal milk, and I, I bet I can test my theory in a little bit here, but um, yeah, they have that really bright strawberry flavor, and they're super crunchy. Again, the consistency is a little bit like frosted flakes. So it's not, it's like a corn flake, but it's, it's got a little extra crispiness. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Just really good. And it's got that rigidity. I'm gonna give it a second. See how it holds up in milk because I feel like when you get frosted flakes, after about a minute or two minutes, they start to get a little bit of a, of a like, uh, I don't know, a little, they start getting a little soggy. And sometimes I know there's people who prefer that. I like mine to be really, really crunchy, almost like, almost like cut your gums when you eat them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, these are already feeling with the spoon a little, like a little bit more chill. Mm -hmm. So they lose their crunchiness a little bit over time, but man, these are good. I can't recommend these enough. In fact, I'm like gonna tear into the rest of the box in a little bit. But first, I wanna get over to the baguette cereal. So let's check that out next. So I've always been interested in eating cereals from around the world. And the last time I was in the Japanese market, I found this, this beauty right here, which is basically Japanese baguette cereal. And there's, there's raisins in it, it's crazy. I've already taken the liberty of opening the bag. And uh, this stuff is nuts. It looks like little, Oh man, you get a real, you get a real raisiny smell when you open the bag. I'm not actually even sure what the cereal is called. That's like, I don't speak Japanese, whoops. Um, but here's what it looks like. It's basically little tiny baguettes and there's little pieces of apple in it. I believe there's some raisins or currants or something in there. They look like little buttery loaves. But yeah, they kind of have a, a like a little bit like a cross section of bread. 
me try one dry here. Mmm. Very sweet. They actually have a real bread texture. Um, it's almost like a, a bruschetta or something, but sweet. Um, you know, it just tastes with a little apple sweetness. Hello, Ron. Do you speak Japanese? Okay, I'm gonna add a little milk to this and see how it is. All right, I'm gonna try to get some baguette and then a little apple bit in there. I don't know if you can hear this, but it is quite crunchy, even in milk, and the apple in there really enhances it. It's like freeze-dried apple. Um, so there's a sweetness to the apple. The whole thing kind of tastes like buttery and bready, apple-y, um, and it's, it's quite delicious. This is actually something I would more expect from Europe than Japan. Um, but like a lot of Japanese things, it's got that just hint of sweetness. It doesn't go overpoweringly sweet, which I sometimes love. I mean, I love a good candy cereal in the morning. I love a good, really sweet breakfast cereal. And this is a good change of pace. And I really, really love the bits of apple in there. Now that it's been sitting in the milk a little bit longer, let me take one more bite. It's losing a little bit of that crunch now. So it's not something that you would want to um, leave for too, too long. I'm not sure, I'll research and try to find out what the name of this cereal is. I just found it in my local Japanese market. Perhaps you don't have one. So I'll try to research it and find something where anybody could get it online. But uh, but yeah, I recommend this if you come across a box of it. I think I got it at like Mitsuwa in, um, in Los Angeles, but uh, yeah, we'll figure out where you can get some from. It's quite delicious. See you next time.